All right. Wait a minute. No. Okay. Here we are. We're at uh, Jock's Landing, the home of or the the hunting facility of the famous Dr. Bill Regine, and we're here with Uncle Lou Despina, Billy's uncle, and my and my adopted uncle, <laughs> and we're here with Nikki, Nikki, who I've known since he was like five years old. And let me just let me just say something about Nikki. Nikki doesn't, Nikki, Nikki doesn't take shit off anybody. <laughs> when we were little, when we were little kids, we we would go in this PS thirty. I think I was in the sixth grade. Nikki was in the fifth, first grade or something, and um, we would bust Nikki's chops on the bus. They always and, did. And Nikki, Nikki didn't take shit from anybody. He was a little kid, okay. and he would he would fucking go after us. He was fucking crazy. So <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, good guy. Thanks, man. So anyway. What I try and do is every time we shoot a deer, Billy and myself, we try and memorialize with a video. So shot a really nice deer on November 5th, but didn't have time to uh, tell the story about it. So Billy's outside, uh, you know, I don't know what the hell he's doing, talking to Yui's wife. Uh, so anyway, November 5th, we were out here hunting and we went out on Yui's farm in Virginia. So I wrote this down, so I'll read some of it, and we'll get reaction from Uncle Lou and Nikki. So the day started out good, and especially since we saw a big, beautiful buck casually following a doe on the side of this major road in Virginia. So we kind of knew it was going to be a good day. So we arrived in redneck, redneck country, and Yui put Bill and I in our respective stands at around 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, my stand was just in the tree line of a nice size field. And I was facing the north. And Yui told me in the... I'm trying to read this and my handwriting really sucks. Oh, and he told me that the deer usually come to the right of the stand in the right corner, southeast. And so I was about 60 yards from the corner. Uh, fortunately, I had my Italian cards, which, you know, I've been trying to learn Italian for years. And, you know, because I'm old and not too smart, it's really yeah, difficult. Did you have a big field in front of you? Yeah, we were in a field probably uh, not, not, as, where you put me not, as, not as big as the field that... Yeah. We're in right. probably about yeah. one third the size. Can they videotape you? No, I could hold it and you know say something, Nick. Um, We're going to talk to Nick about his his <laughs> giant deer and why, for many many years, Nicky didn't hunt after what his father did to him <laughs> when he was experience. growing up. Bad experience. So going back to the to, to the hunt, and every time I hunt, I always bring my Italian vocabulary cards with me to you know to pretty much study it and kill the time. So anyhow, fortunately I had my Italian cards. So between reading the cards and texting both Billy and Yui and watching a red fox in the field along with a lone turkey. Yeah, there was, there was a turkey walking around. The day went by. After several hours of not seeing anything, I began to hear gunshots to the north. Of course, I became a bit jealous and hoped that some deer were coming in my direction. Sure enough, after a few hours, uh, a couple of deer showed. Initially, I saw one at about 150 yards. And uh, what the fuck? I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> really? Who are you going to show this to? Everybody, whoever wants to see it. Yeah, but it's just, a, but it's just the a language. Yeah. And this is why I do this. This is why I do yeah. this. I started writing it down. Started so anyway, down. I remember seeing a deer, and I, it, I think it was like a small buck or something, and I was hoping that a big buck would come out. So, uh, okay, so I saw a small buck, oh, and they were grazing. I then saw two additional does come out of the east woods where Yui told me you would probably see something and they being a lot closer I began glassing them and observing them and watching watching them graze hoping a buck would show up it was getting a bit late and I was concerned that the hunt would be be over first so about at 538 Yui saw a seven pointer so perhaps, so my thinking was, so, so perhaps a nice one would show up. 
At 554, I saw a big buck. Um, is it AM or PM? Is it AM? No, PM. So oh, five, five, five four, This is November. Oh, so it's still, still light. So it was still no, I think it was still light out. Okay. So at five fifty four I saw a big buck come out of the east woods where Yui was saying they typically come. And he began, began, began to graze. So at 113 and I, I texted Billy and Yui and I said, Hey, his uncle Uncle Louie. And me. So I texted Billy and, and Yui. I said, hey, I saw a good sized deer, you know, 113 yards. And because it was a muzzle loader, I was afraid that it was beyond maximum distance. Well, I don't know what, how typically loader typically 100 yards, and that's it. I you don't, don't shoot anything. I, yeah. I had no idea. Okay. So, so, I, so it was 113 yards because I had the, the range finder. I said, I'm going to fucking shoot it. So I decided to take the shot. Turning the page, and my heart was pounding like it always is. The adrenaline is pumping, and I took aim at 556. I shot him at 113 yards, nearly the max range of the muzzle loader. Uh, did you aim a little high on that? Or just you know what? I can't. I can't. Even, I, can't I can't even remember. But yeah. I just remember it was probably I just sighted in where. It was a hundred, you know, hundred. Yui said it. If you shot at a hundred yards, wherever you aimed at, that's what it hit. Okay. So Good. pretty much, it wasn't going to do anything. So when I shot, I wasn't wearing glasses. So as soon as I shot, I put my glasses on, and I watched him. He trotted, didn't you know? He he just trotted like nonchalantly towards the tree line, and he immediately stopped. So Yui and Billy both texted asking what happened and telling me not to move. So I continued to watch the deer and he was 142 yards away in the tree line. So I saw the deer, it dropped literally right in the tree line, like two, two feet from the trees and in the bushes. And I saw the deer. You hadn't taken another shot. No, because it was a muzzle right, loader. Right, right. So I saw the deer on the side and he fell down. Yeah, did you know you did you know you dropped or you weren't sure? No, I know I hit him because he tried he walked a little bit into the right where the tree line was, not in the tree line, but you could still see him, like right before the tree line. He fell down and it was like he was trying to struggle to get up. So obviously I knew I knew I hit him. So uh, I both Yui Yui and Bill both texted asking what happened and telling me not to move. So I continued watching from 142, year, 142 yards away in the bush. And the deer was trying to get, gallantly trying to get up. And I felt sorry for him. He was shaking, she was shaking his head and um, trying to get up, unable to do so. And the fucking other deer, the does, these doe, deer are so stupid. So while watching, the are stupid. yeah, the, while watching him, the does kept watching him from like 15 feet away, like they're fucking in another world, and um, directly, but not doing anything. Finally, I stopped seeing movement and thought he might have moved into the trees, uh, which was, a, oh, uh, those, those trees were so fucking thick. Oh, well, it was pines? Oh, um, it was, this, it this was real. Henry? No, this, this, was, this was over Yui's uh, place in Virginia, and I swear to God, the trees were like about a foot apart. So it was almost impossible to to go in there. So, um, so how many points would this? Like almost nine points, eight full Whoa. points, and a, a small point, maybe about an inch high. So Bill came around six twenty-five, and it was completely dark. We walked over to where I thought the deer was, and we walked we walked the ground from like about twenty-five yards each way, and we saw the deer in the tree line, literally right before the tree line. And we both said that if the deer had gotten in their tree line, we would see it. We would, we would and at this point, it's fairly light outside. It, no, it was pitch black. Oh, out. shit. I would, yeah. I, yeah. Hey, where were you? Come over here. Holy shit. Come here, man. You, you almost stopped talking. No, we're fucking interview. We're doing my you interview doing? from the deer, oh, from yeah. the shot. Oh, it's too late now. Did the whole thing. So, what do you, what do you, now, Bill. You know, I, I, I'm telling a story about the, the, the deer from November that I shot the deer and it just walked into the, the tree line and you came when it was pitch black. And Billy. Well, first, what you have to realize 
is when we walked into the field to go find a stand, literally along the edge of the field, you would not walk more than 10 feet and you would see a scrape. And oh, you yeah, would see right. a it was it was, right. it, it was the most we'd ever seen. So there was clearly a very aggressive buck in the area. So the, the hopes were pretty high that there would be something coming out on that field. And fortunately, Vinny got to hunt in that field, and they sent me in the so, box. it was basically nothing like the girly bucks that my brother got. Was, these were like manly bucks. These weren't like pussy bucks. But we're going we're to talk to Nick about his gig, giant yeah. deer. And Ten, why, and might, well, and might as well why, pass and why, by and why, me. And why Nicky didn't hunt for like 50 years, yeah. okay? So anyway, Bill and myself, you know, the deer... We, we sh the deer dropped, and so Bill comes finally, and then Yui comes, yeah. and we'll, we find the deer, and, and the we're deer trying to f deer. and we're oh, trying man. to figure out how we're going to get the deer from where it dropped to where Yui's truck oh, was. Oh my God, that was because crazy. It was the, because the, the the woods were so fucking thick. Like I said, it was like oh, to be able to get him out. Of it? it was like the wilderness. So fortunately, what we did was we were able to. There was probably pretty much like a 10 foot buffer of extremely thick trees. And then beyond that, it wasn't as thick. So and we, I, I just put my head down with my hat and I was busting through trees yeah, for so this guy. So we were able to drag it through there. And then um, we were able to drag it from where it was. And Yui pulled up his truck into maybe it was probably about 50 yards away. We yeah. had to drag it. Oh, at least. Yeah, so we had to drag it about 50 yards away, and, um, and we so, grabbed its horns. Yeah, we dragged. And we horns. lifted it and threw it on the back of the, the pickup truck. Right, and uh, and uh, the celebration began. Right, so Virginia Buck. That's right. So before we before we move on to Nick, we got to see a picture of Bill's deer that he got at at Kenny Graham's in Kansas three Atlanta. years ago, and we've already that. That video we've already discussed. It's like a great 15-minute video. Billy goes into extreme detail as far as his monster buck, how he shot it, how he tracked it, and so on. But Nikki, his brother, these are these are some bucks that Nikki got. Now, Nikki got this as his first deer. How many years ago, Nick? Uh, that was in 2017. Okay. After not hunting for after, about 20 after, years. Not, no, oh, probably wow. more wow. than that. Wait, we're we're going to get to that. And then, like, the next year, he got another awesome no, deer. No, so it was literally four years later. Okay, four years later. He still got an awesome deer. So, Nikki, tell us why... You know, and, and Billy's father, Mr. Regina, was a great guy, true outdoorsman. But you know what? The deer that they had upstate New York, there's no comparison. There's no comparison. There's no like, comparison. These, this, is, this is like a deer that Mr. Regine got. That was his biggest buck right Biggest there. buck here. Biggest and buck. you know what? It, Chinese. It, it's Chinese buck because the taxidermist did a shitty job. But look how small the fucking deer is. I mean, really, compared to Billy's deer... Uh, Larry's Larry's, de Larry's deer. Larry, Larry Larry was a great guy. Billy Billy's good friend. These are a couple upstate deer, and this is a, this is a deer that Billy got here. But anyway, so Mr. Mr. Regime, good great guy, always hunting. I can tell you the story about. It. Okay, well wait, we're gonna talk to Uncle Louie in a minute, but. Nikki's going to tell us why he didn't hunt for many years. I can tell, I can tell you about it. Okay, you so, want to do Uncle Nicky? Yeah, 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 Uncle Louie. Louis. Okay, Uncle Louie, tell the story tell why Nikki why Nikki doesn't yeah. didn't hunt for many years. Because his father told, brought him out to hunt on the first day. How long? How, snow, old, it was, how old was Nikki? Oh, okay. It was. Uh, it, the it was a hell of a lot of snow oh, on the yeah, ground. Was fucking, there was a foot of snow on the ground. And he told him. You sit right here and don't, don't move. move. Don't move. <laughs> don't he move. Said, those are the key words. Don't move. Okay. All right. Don't so move. he listens, literally listens to him. He sat there, didn't move an inch for about three, four hours. He almost froze to death. Yeah. He finally, I don't know, finally had to come in. Or he, what, made, what made you come in? When he came in, it was like, I it, came in with my Uncle Sal, and Nick came in. Here you go. His so, feet, his feet were up the vent. I looked at him. He was grabbing his sword. He goes, 
over the heating oh, vent. Fuck you! I said, I'm, I'm going never hunting again. I'm going, going fishing. fishing. I'm going right. back to Florida and fishing. My yeah. fucking feet are frozen. Yeah, I was like, fuck this. I don't need this shit. <laughs> I said, why are you Shimoni? The what do you do? Yeah. He yeah, says you yeah. you should not come what in. You, you got water balls? You got water balls? I got steel balls. All right, so tell us more, Nick. So tell us, how, was you, me, tell us how you felt. That when... was the first experience to me. My dad said, don't move. I did that. I listened to him. I said, oh, you know what? I go, hunting is not for me. I was 17. and I didn't hunt for shit. Let me think about this. I was 17, 37, 40. I didn't hunt for almost 25 years. I literally didn't So hunt. how many, how yeah, many was this the first time year, when you got your deer? Back, so, got so I, it was my first year. So I, I came back. My Uncle Vito was like, why don't you come up hunting? I was like, I go, so I have my brother. Like, I don't even know how to get my license. You took the safety course. All you got to do, I said, oh, great. 2015, I got my safety course. I went up hunting. It was myself, my Uncle Louie, my, my brother, Julie, a bunch of other people up there. No, it's 2016, 2017, the following years when I got that buck. All right, tell us the story about that buck. So, and he was in the blind, <laughs> Taj Mahal blind, <laughs> with the heat, with the propane heat. This, so, this, this, this Taj Mahal, so Uncle Louis Taj Mahal blind the dip, is nothing like the Taj Mahal. Came from Weber's brother. Weber, so the late, the day okay. after he, opening he day. So I'm side. sitting in a blind, I'm looking left to right, and this deer comes walking out to my left, and I said, and he went towards and all of a sudden, it just turned away. So I, all I saw right was basically, all I saw the deer was his ass. I'm like, I go, what the fuck kind of, how big is that deer? Said, it was pretty big. He picked his head up. I said, holy shit. <laughs> Let me tell you, my heart was pumping out of my chest. Like, Look at the and, fucking camera. And my, and my thing was, if I fuck this up, my uncles are never going to let me hear the fucking end. That's all I was thinking about my uncles. Is, I said, I'm never going to hear the end of this fucking thing. And as he walked, I said, you know what? I said, I'm, I, I said, I don't have a good shot. He kept turning away. I said, I still have a good shot. And he walked, 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 walked. It was like literally 10 minutes. I finally, I see him. He walks about 130 yards away. He, he turns on this apple tree. I got a broadside shot. I said, this is it. Boom. I said, I fucking missed. I said, how did I fucking miss? So first thing I call my brother, he goes, he says to my brother, says, was the shot a surprise? I go, yes. He goes, don't fucking move. I'm coming up. So, I, think you so, I said, I think I missed. Here comes my Uncle Vito with the, the, the four-wheeler with a flashlight. Because my, my fucking flashlight died. I had nothing to look with. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I come down. I can't see shit. My Uncle Vito goes, all right, relax. Don't worry. He's got a flashlight within about 10 minutes. I got it, my Uncle Vito. Holy shit. That's my Uncle Vito going, holy shit. I'm like, he goes, oh, fuck. He even said, he goes, that fucking huge buck. I see the fucking, my brother goes, are you fucking kidding me? He, my brother's <laughs> so pissed off because I got a bigger buck than him yeah. all the years been on. So the bottom line is, who is the king of New York? That's right. Me. Not my brother, and Bill. Now, and now Nikki offered to give training lessons. That's right. Now, Uncle Louie, did you ever get a deer on that property bigger than Nikki's? No. I got an eight pointer, but smaller so than Nikki's. Nikki's has Nick, did Nikki get the biggest deer that was ever taken on that property? I think so, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I saw, I saw sure. my Uncle Mike's 10 pointer. We even looked. My, my Uncle, Uncle Mike. Mike's. We were there My Uncle Mike's 10 pointer. Was, it's like, dude, it's got. It's 10 points, yeah. but the horns are, like, uh, thin. Like this freaking deer. thing is good. Yeah. yeah, here's the deer again. Look at look at that beauty. So, Ben, you want the second one, Star? Yeah, why not? Uh, we're, we're here. We might as well memorialize it. So now, the same property. Same property, okay. same stand. Fast forward four years later. So I went through a little bit of dry spells. All right, great. So now, my brother goes, he goes, I'm going to hunt in the same spot, opening day. This is before this is before my story. Okay, so now it is opening day. I see this buck. The sun is shining. I see a buck come out. I'm like, I see two tines. I'm like, shit, it's too small. I see it turn towards my brother. Boom! I hear a shot. I go, fuck! It had three. Cause I know my brother is not gonna shoot something small than three. He go, I go, Bill, it had three. Yeah, goes, yeah. So I said, I said, you fucking bad. I go, all right. I go, you know, what my thinking was. I saved the small ones for him. Yeah. So I can take yeah. a picture. The oh, next God. afternoon, came out, same spot. As the, like, well, actually, yeah, it did come out the same spot. Trans along, it was a 180-yard shot. Walked along. I said, 
holy shit, this is a nice fucking eight. And that's when you came running up. Put the scope on it. I go, it's a perfect eight. He was walking between trees. I couldn't get a clean shot. It took me about five minutes to get an open, clean shot. I had a broadside shot. 130, 180 yards. Boom. What'd you, what'd you get? What'd you shoot? He came He came to the deal before I did. And I had, it was another eight-pointer. And my brother goes, what'd you, I said, my brother, get the quad. He's not, my brother, my own brother is not answering me. Thanks, yeah. brother. He didn't answer me. He goes, he goes, what the fuck, man? He goes, I'm, I got my gloves on. I go, well, I need help. So I had to get there. I gutted it. Had it fully dressed. And then he finally shows the quad. I was uh, through my shoulder. I get it on. But that was my second eight-pointer. All right. Uncle Louie came up and helped me so out. We're, so we're here now at Billy's Place in Berlin, Maryland. There's awesome farm. Snow Hill. Snow Hill. Snow Hill. And uh, tomorrow is supposed to rain a lot. So hope, we're hoping to get a good deer for each of us tomorrow. We saw a bunch of uh, does today. Nikki saw a seven-point buck. And we're just hoping to see something good. We want Uncle Louie to get a monster buck from the Yeah, Taj Mahal. I haven't gotten a deer here yet. Now, I, Uncle, Uncle Louie, are you happy with the Taj Mahal? Oh, the best stand I've ever had. Yeah, you're going to put your sleep in there. As good a stand as it is, that if buck. I don't get a deer, this place is no good. Yeah, and so That <laughs> buck he got was obviously the, fa the brother or the son of the previous buck. The same horns, the same girth. The, the, Why didn't you two help deer, me out with it? Two deer. Two deer. Now, now, now Billy, pre before he bought this place, he had a nice, nice place out in Deep Creek, Maryland. So when we, you know, we would never see anything no. out there. And if we saw Dude. something, we were ecstatic, and we were always freezing our asses off. It was awful out there. Oh. So. These are the, like the, the trophy deer that Billy and myself shot out there over like the years. Tight. And, you know, look at them. Look at the deer. And we were so happy to get something like this. <laughs> Was that Bosey? You were in a fucking t-shirt. Was that Bosey? And Bosey? these are the deer that we would get. Now, compared to deer that, we've, that Billy has gotten here, like he got this one here, these deer here, this deer here was shot on this property. And, and I shot a nice deer back in uh, November, the one that we're talking about. I'm put it here. And um, but anyway, you look at the deer, and his son Nikki Nikki got one up there. These are freaking Nick was one and one, one and done. Nick. These are these are freaking midget deer that we wouldn't even we we would go back to look sleep. Look at the size of Larry's size. doe in that picture. Yeah, that look, size, at the, look, look at the size, look at the monster doe. That thing's huge. These are the That's deer right. here. Oh, and when so Billy, my dog. When, Billy, the I shot. when Billy and myself got oh, these two here. deer, no, we were so we, ecstatic about today. it. And you can see, when like, this one is an eight pointer, it's, it's a little midget. And this one is like a six pointer, a little midget. And we wouldn't even, we wouldn't even shoot it. So fortunately, you know, hopefully we we do really well here. There are some really big does, some big bucks here, and hopefully. So Vin, why didn't I shoot a seven pointer today? It's because the, there's monster deer here. Man, Uncle Lou, understand. Uncle Lou, now, well, Lou, Uncle Louie doesn't ex understand because he's understand. grown up with New York deer. Right, he's, yeah. so, like yeah, this deer, this deer that Mr. Regine got, this would be considered a monster in New Next York. Year, this and that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what Uncle Louie thinks. The Thanksgiving season, I saw a six and I even passed on that. I'm like, you know what? It was a nice six, but I'm going to pass on it. This year was a... A seven, it was a nice seven. Pass, right? pass. And I'm like, I had him in my sights, my finger on the trigger, I'm going, I go, you know what, I'm not gonna take it. And I yeah, literally you, you, I, you I shoot just, eight pointers like that, you could pass on a seven. Yeah, man. Well, you know, I'm in the club, you know. Uh, Nikki no, Nikki's not only in the club, he's the founding member of the club. <laughs> he's got black, he's got and, he, and he's and he's shirt. the instructor, you see? Nikki gave me his shirt for attending his courses. So that's it for tonight, and hopefully we'll be back on tomorrow interviewing either Uncle Louie, Billy, or Nikki, or myself when we get a trophy. Okay, signing off now, and we'll see you tomorrow.